Hi, welcome to day two of the Beginner Yoga Challenge. If you haven't seen day one, we focused on the breath. Um, that's going to be a really key aspect um, of all the videos. So if you haven't seen that one, make sure you go back and watch that one first. And then today we're going to focus on Downward Facing Dog. So that's probably one of the most well-known yoga poses. So I thought it'd be great to start with that one first. And there's a lot of elements that go into it. It's one that looks very simple, but uh, a lot of people actually find quite challenging. So we're going to start seated. We're going to sit tall and upright, close the eyes over, and just check in with our breath before we get going. So as we inhale, you should feel the breath come in through your nose, feel it move all the way down, feel your abdomen expand, and then feel your chest open out to the sides and lift up. As you exhale, you should feel everything come back to the center. Feel your abdomen drop down, feel your chest lower and come back in. Inhale, feel everything open up again, and then exhale, everything relaxes. One more time, big breath. And then slowly open your eyes, start to move your fingers and start to move your wrists around. So one of the things that most people struggle with in Downward Facing Dog is that their wrists um, start to fatigue. So we're gonna warm them up, make sure that we've got lots of mobility in our wrists. We're gonna take a gentle stretch, take your um, palm onto the back of one hand and then gently push the palm to the underside of your forearm. Pause there for a breath, so just a nice gentle stretch. And then onto the other side. Then you're gonna stretch the other way, so you're gonna take your palm onto the backs of your fingers and then stretch the back of your hand towards your forearm. Soft bend in your elbow, and then onto the other side. And then take your hands out in front of you, palms facing away, fingers pointing upwards, and then curl your fingers in, start to make two fists, and then round your fists down. And then start to open everything up, lift your fingers up, and then round everything back down. I'm just going to do that a few times. I'll show you from the side so you can see from that view. So you start with your palms open and then you slowly curl them in, round them down and then opening back up again. Just do that a few times. Just move slow and steady. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And then rotate the wrists around a few times each way. And then roll your shoulders forwards and backwards. Relax your shoulders down. Bring your shoulders up to your ears. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, slide them down your back. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, lower shoulder blades, slide down the back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And then lift your right arm up into the air. Stretch your fingertips up high. Bend the elbow and then start to walk your fingers down your spine. Take your left hand around and use that to gently pull your elbow into the center as you walk your hand down your back. Point your elbow up directly up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath. Keep your spine long, tall and upright. And then relax back down. Extend your left arm up, inhale, lift. Exhale, bend the elbow, walk your fingers down your back. Take your right hand onto the elbow just to gently encourage it into the center. And then have an upward motion through the top of your left elbow. So it's reaching up to the ceiling. Keep your spine tall. Keep your spine long. Keep your neck in neutral. And then relax back down. And then roll your shoulders forwards and back. So we're gonna do our cat cows again that we did last, uh, last time. 
So knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Inhale into your cow pose. Tailbone lifts, chest comes forwards. Exhale, round your back, tuck the hips under, drop your head down between your arms. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. And then come back to neutral. Going to start to shift our weight forwards into the hands. Take your shoulders beyond your wrists and then take your weight back towards your heels. I'm just going to rock backwards and forwards. So just keep the breath slow and steady as you do this. Just building a little bit of strength and flexibility in the wrists. For those long deep breaths in and out through the nose. So if maybe you can go a little bit further. And then sit back to your feet. We'll circle the wrists around again. And then we're going to come up into downward facing dog. So fingers spread really wide. Push your weight through your whole hand. So your weight's coming through each of your fingers, through each of your knuckles, pushing down through your palm as well as the heel of your hand. Tuck your toes under. You're gonna come up with bent knees. You're gonna lift your hips up. Keep a nice big deep bend in your knees. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. Feel like you're kind of locking your shoulders in place and then externally rotate. So you're gonna draw the underside of your arms in towards one another and then hold there. Take a few deep breaths. And then slowly lower your knees back down. Have a little rest if you need to circle your wrists around again. Maybe you can take the back of your hand onto your mat, gently push down. And then do the same on the other side, really gently push down. And then we'll come up a little bit higher into our downward facing dog. Fingers spread wide, toes tuck under, lift your hips up. Keep a soft bend in your knees this time. Slide your shoulder blades down, externally rotate your arms. And then start to stretch your hips up into the air. So come up onto your tiptoes, reach your hips up as high as you can. Pause there for a breath. Big inhale. And then as you exhale, start to take your weight back towards your heels. And you're gonna lower your heels down as far as they'll go before your back starts to round. So my heels can come all the way down, yours don't need to. You can stay here. And it's better to stay up here with soft knees and have your spine long and straight than to round your back in order to straighten your legs. So you want to really focus on the back, bend your knees, long straight spine, lifting up, big inhale, and then exhale, sink down through your heels. Come into a plank position, so inhale plank. As you exhale, lower your chest down. You can drop your knees or keep your knees lifted. Inhale, lift your chest up slightly. Exhale, back down. And then inhale, tuck your toes, lift up into your downward facing dog again. Slide the shoulders down, roll the, arm, the back of the arms in, soft bend to the knees, and then we're gonna pedal out the feet. So you're gonna push one heel down, bend the opposite knee, and then walk from side to side. Your head is in line with your arms, neck nice and relaxed, there's no tension in your jaw, in your face, in your neck or shoulders. Look up at your hands, and then walk your feet forwards, walk your feet up to your hands, and then hang in a forward fold. Soft knees, cross your arms over, let your head drop down, so ragdoll pose. Maybe have a rock from one side to the other. Release your arms, slowly roll yourself up. So spine roll, rolling up piece by piece. Head coming up last. Our head has been down for a little while, so take a few deep breaths. Take your time coming up. 
If you feel a little bit lightheaded, then you may have had your head down for a little bit too long. Your body's just not used to that position. So just stand here for a moment, maybe take a seat on a chair, take a few deep breaths. Inhale, when you're ready, slowly roll back down again. So exhale, spine roll down, nice and slow. Take your hands to the floor, step your feet back into your downward facing dog again. Resetting everything, so soft knees, strong arms, make sure you're pushing down through the whole of your hand, squeezing your arms in, and then inhale, stretch up, exhale, push down through your heel. Front of the legs are pulling up, and then the backs of the legs are stretching. Imagine that someone is pulling your hips back behind you, so imagine there's someone standing at the back edge of your mat, and they're holding your hips, pulling them away from your hands. So you've got that extension in your spine, but you keep your shoulders nice and strong. So keep your shoulders locked in place. Keep the arms firm. Remember to keep pushing down through your knuckles. Take a big inhale, and then exhale, child's pose. Drop to your knees, knees out wide, big toes together. Sit your hips down and then slide your hands forwards and rest your head on your mat. And like I said yesterday, if it doesn't rest on your mat, then you can just rest your head on your hands, you can make two fists, you can pop a pillow underneath, or a yoga block. Let your whole body rest for a moment. So downward facing dog is an inversion, so your head is below your heart. So if you're not used to doing that, you can start to feel a little lightheaded as all the blood goes to your head. So you wanna take it steady, you want to build up to it. Come down to child's pose anytime. So as we go through the whole challenge, if there's any point that you feel like something's a little bit too much for you, then you just come down into your child's pose and this is your resting place. This is where you can just pause, take a few breaths, gather yourself, center yourself, and then start again. We're going to do one more downward facing dog with some variations. So you're going to roll up, roll the shoulders back, take your hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. I'm going to show you what we're going to do on hands and knees first and if it's too much in down dog then you can just do it on hands and knees. So this is your simpler option. You're going to inhale, extend your right leg back behind you, exhale, bring your knee to your chest, Inhale, extend. Exhale, take your knee to your right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, take your knee over to your left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, back to hands and knees, or back to downward facing dog when we're doing it up there. Onto the left side, inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to your left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hands and knees. So repeat that one again, or come into downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up into the air. Exhale, knee to chest. So shift your weight a little bit more into your hands and lift up onto the toe of your left foot. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. So you kind of come into a bit of a plank. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to your left elbow. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale to your left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale to your right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. 
and then drop to your hands and your knees. Pause on hands and knees for a second. Make sure you've got your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. We'll do a few cat cows just to slow down the breath. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat, rounding your back, scooping up. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more each way. Just go at your own pace for these ones. And then back to neutral. Take your legs through, find a comfortable seated position. Sit yourself tall, roll your shoulders back. Maybe close your eyes over. Just take a couple of moments to let everything settle down. Feel your shoulders drop down. Hopefully the backs of your legs are feeling a little looser, a little more stretched out. Hopefully you're feeling a bit more energized. So downward facing dog is an energizing pose pumping the blood around the body, oxygenating everything. Arms should be feeling good, feeling a bit more energy in them. Maybe they're feeling a little bit achy. Maybe they're feeling a little warm. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up. And then exhale, bring your hands to your chest to finish. Namaste. Thanks for joining me for day two of the 30 day yoga challenge. Um, tomorrow on day three, we're gonna focus on cobra pose. So that's a back bend. We're gonna do a little bit of work on back strength and chest opening. So it's gonna be a really great one tomorrow. Hope to see you there. Bye.